what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it has been a minute since we uploaded our last video so for the, for the past weeks or maybe almost a month already i have been reading a lot and researching about cryptocurrency what it's about the different companies out there what are they doing what are they for and kind of why are they you know blowing up since the past year we're not here to talk about its history and how you know the whole bitcoin and cryptocurrency came to be this is basically me sharing with you what i have learned for this past few weeks about cryptocurrency so here are five things that you should know and what i've learned basically before you start investing in the cryptocurrency number one fiat currency is losing its value so what are fiat currency fiat currency is basically a peso or a dollar so these are the paper money or paper currency that we are using today as a method of payment throughout you know any purchases that we are doing so it can be a yen a euro a pound so those are the fiat currency and in today's world we are printing a lot more uh, paper money than we have in the past decade i would think and you can do your own research on this and it's definitely happening today and it is an issue that i think we should all be aware of because as the money's value goes down the prices will probably go up and that's not that's not good it's going to be hard for people who are working on like seven days sorry five days a week eight hours a day maybe i don't know what your job is but that is definitely an issue unless you know our salary gets gets raised up for some reason but uh to focus on what i was mentioning earlier fiat currency is definitely on the decline and we are seeing more of that you know its value as we are printing more money printing more paper money from our central banks capital entry to cryptocurrency is very minimal which means anyone who has some extra cash extra money that's not being used like so let's just say like you have 10,000 peso on your bank account that's not moving at all that money will not increase for like years in terms of bank interest right so in my mind or in cryptocurrency perspective you can use that 10 peso to buy the equivalent value of a for example a bitcoin or an ethereum you can use that as an entry point for your investment and you can definitely grow that gradually now if you want to earn like big money in the cryptocurrency market and obviously you need a bigger capital to start off because you want to incur you know the value so but what i'm trying to say here for this point any amount of value has an equivalent of a crypto token so unlike stocks or other investment um, uh, thing right wherein there's a fixed value or a minimum of large amount of money that you need to produce or cash out in order to enter that particular investment but for cryptocurrency you can enter as low as i don't know 200 or even 50 pesos you can definitely buy some sort of crypto cryptocurrency on the market and for me i started quite small as i wasn't very confident on what it is i feel like it was a scam at that point but i said but as i have learned research understood what these different companies are doing which they are actually solving a lot of real world problems right and it gives me confidence that this particular technology this network that they are creating is actually worth investing on so that's how i put my stake whenever i enter an investment on a certain cryptocurrency coin but again this point is not about that it's about you know how much can we actually start off and it can be as low as most probably 50 pesos and above so the cryptocurrency or crypto market is a open market which means it is a 24 by 7 and it's available all the time now that corresponding to a stock market which has like 
a weekday window where you can trade and then it closes at the Friday, right? But for cryptocurrency, it is highly liquid. For whatever reason, if you need your money back or if you need that money that you invested on a cryptocurrency, you can all immediately pull that money out and withdraw it. That's how liquid cryptocurrency is. An example of that, if you, you're probably watching this and you probably heard about Elon Musk investing like $1.5 billion on Bitcoin. And weeks after he made that purchase, he withdrew like 10% of that Bitcoin value. That just shows how open and how liquid the cryptocurrency market is. So it's an instant pull out money. You don't need to go different processes like today where, for example, if you would like go to a bank, you have to go all of this check if you would like to withdraw a large sum amount of money. So again, this one is quite short, but cryptocurrency market is very liquid. important one that I would say in this entire video is that the crypto market is highly volatile. That is facts and that is the truth. Now that means that it can go up the next day and go down on that same day as well. That's how fast and volatile the crypto market is. Now as an investor who or a trader who is looking at long term, this may or may not affect that much for you because if you are looking into like for you know invest and forget type of strategy, this might be I don't know not be impacting you. But for traders such as myself, we are looking at the market on a tipping point and its lowest point. We we kind of un understand or keep us up to date on what is happening on a certain investment that we have we need we identify when is the appropriate time to sell or to buy because looking at how that market is it is going like up and down as we have seen in this current state if you would like google you know what is going on with the cryptocurrency market and all these chartings and stuff you would see that most of the graphs has, that has happened like april We've seen a lot of waves going on from the different um, crypto token. So that's how volatile the crypto market is. And if you want to get some payoffs, you definitely want to watch out for that trend and you know read and research about it. But for me, I do a lot of technical charting. I read the latest news about it, especially if they had cases. I'm looking at you, XRP. Cryptocurrency is very volatile in nature, so that will not change in any time soon. And I don't think it's ever going to change in the future, like decades from now, it's still going to be very volatile. Digital asset is a thing. Digital asset is basically being accepted or is the future of a method of payment or an exchange fund, or sorry, an, ex an exchange trade fund or an ETF, sorry, ETF or EST. Uh, ETF is the right term. ETF in its exchange trend fund, which normally surrounds around stock, and it's definitely the future we are seeing today. Now, digital asset is basically, in my perspective, I would compare it to a real estate. It's a real estate is something that you buy as a part of a land or a part of a space, right? It might either be a building, a house, or some sort of, you know, any physical space. Now, digital asset is the, I guess, the digital version of real estate. When you buy it, and through time, it also increases its value. Now, the only difference is that, obviously, digital asset is something that you don't see. But, to my point, if you would go back, way back, like millennial, millennium years ago, we all, as a civilization, we all started with the barter system. 
right? It's an exchange of an equivalent value and that really didn't sustain, correct? And then as we evolve, we move to the or side of things, which is the gold, silver trading type of exchange. If you will go to the medieval times, silver and gold has been used as a method of payment for an exchange of goods or services. Now, fast forward backtracking in the digital or sorry, in the modern era, which is currently today, we have the paper money and along with the paper money's evolution, you know, in terms of digit digitalization, credit cards, different credit cards has been introduced as a representative of the fiat currency, right? Or the, for the paper money. So digital asset is the next evolution of that. That's how I see it. And that is it for this video. Those are the things that I have been like researching and what I've learned throughout that research, kind of summarize it into this small video, right? And I hope it helps you to enable you to see what the cryptocurrency is and maybe, you know, start investing, join the movement or something. And once again, if you find this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.